Contrarians, welcome back to the Encrypted Capital Recap for Tuesday, November 16th. First off, just want to come on here and say hello. It's been a little while since we cut a video, and I am about a full cup into my Angel's Envy right now, so I figured I'd come explain our point of view on what's going on in the market right now. Clearly, we can see that Bitcoin is trading around 60350 uh, massive, massive sell-off that happened just after the Taproot release, which was the update to Bitcoin. First update that's happened since 2017. And we also saw that the news coming out, if you go and do a quick search, uh, Bitcoin falls as China takes aim once again at extremely harmful crypto mining. We've seen this time and time again. China has been used a ton of time so go ahead and manipulate the price of bitcoin and that's what we're seeing now we also as mentioned saw that tap root uh, was released three days ago a lot of people thought that bitcoin was going to skyrocket uh, after this upgrade and sure enough my contrarians you all know having the contrarian mindset and doing the exact opposite of the herd will make you a ton of money and protect your capital so it's exactly what happened the market went the exact opposite way as opposed to what the average retail trader was thinking. And so you guys got wiped out, got massively liquidated if you were trading on margin and you were over leveraged. And I found this article from Cointelegraph saying that Bitcoin stages picture perfect rebound at 58.5 as crypto liquidations top $875 million. It says one analyst hails a successful retest of monthly support but nervousness is increasing on the back of 11% daily losses. So in our opinion, and we stated this in our newsletter, we thought that it was going to go ahead and rebound rather quickly. And a few days ago, wanted to note here that we did send out a email for our paid members. It was our market update on November 11th. And we have it highlighted here. It said there's still a chance that the total altcoin market cap may back test the previous high which would drop the market by 10%. If that does happen, we will add to our positions, patience required. And sure enough, we go over here, total altcoin market cap. We got that perfect back test of previous highs. That's exactly what we needed. And if you guys want to support the channel, go ahead, sign up for the newsletter. You guys can get this content. We definitely know what we're talking about. We definitely help you. Uh, and aid you in what to look out for in these markets because as we know trading is a zero-sum game and most of the retail traders will get slaughtered by the institutional traders so it says will bitcoin hold 60k leverage shakeout close to complete data suggests uh, we are in agreement with that we do think that uh, the worst of it is over now can we still drop a little bit further possibly but generally speaking, we are looking for the altcoins to start making the push up. We saw that a lot of people did jump on a bunch of assets that started to move and they were FOMOing in when the market was 20, 30% in the green, which is why we always advise to always buy on red days when the market is down 15 to 20%. Now when assets are quote unquote popping off, because a lot of times it'll appear to be popping off, but if that BTC pair is not moving and it's only the USD pair, uh, that tends to fool a lot of people, causing them to rush in and use money they don't have and they over leverage themselves, which is why I want to talk about low leverage cross margin longs. You guys can execute those on KuCoin and all that really is, is let's say you have $10,000 to trade. They will loan you out $90,000 more. They'll give you 10x your money or so $100,000. So... What we do, let's say you have, let's say they'll give you $100,000 in your margin account. You don't go and use up all of it. You use up like 10 grand, you use up 10 grand. And then that way, if there is a crazy drop in the market, you're only using 10% of the margin they're willing to give you, which will keep you in the green, will keep your debt ratio positive and super, super low. And you will not be overextended because if you go ahead and enter in and you use up a majority of that 100 grand, Let's say you have 90% debt ratio now, it's only gonna take you 7% to start the liquidation process. At 97%, they will start liquidating your account. And so if you're anywhere close to a 100% debt ratio, that basically means your account will no longer be existent. And that's exactly what happened. And you gotta look and, and analyze, right? Having the contrarian mindset. 
why did the market crash for the US last night at four o'clock? Four o'clock, depending on what time zone you're in roughly, that's when all the liquidation emails were going out and it moved so, so quickly to let you know that you had to go ahead and add more capital or exit some of your positions. Most people were sleeping at that point. These guys are geniuses. This is exactly why the game is played the way it is. It literally caught everybody sleeping, liquidating your account, giving you no time to act or respond. This happens in the dead of night. And like I said, if you're over leveraged, well, guess what? You're completely wiped out. And by doing the low leverage cross margin longs, you can use capital you already have. And the whole goal is to just acquire assets, get small positions in these assets because we know they're going to do 10, 15, 20x depending on the ones that you're in. So why, hadn't go, why go ahead and use huge margin positions when you can literally just have them loan you out you know, 10% of what you uh, actually could use from them? You acquire these assets. Your debt ratio, like I said, is super low. And that way, if the market does move against you 20%, there's no way you'll get liquidated, even if you are sleeping. So highly advise going and watching a video on how to do that. Uh, maybe I'll cut one myself. I don't know. But if you guys want and you do sign up for the paid newsletter, uh, shoot me a message and I can at least send some screenshots. Or maybe I'll release that in uh, another uh, newsletter. But something you guys should definitely be aware of if you did get liquidated. Hopefully that was not all of your capital and you're only playing with a little bit. As far as we go, we use a very, very small portion of our portfolio to kind of keep us entertained and get some good entries in these positions. But we're not using anywhere near any large amount of capital. It's such a small, small percentage where even if the exchange got hacked and we lost all our money, it would not impact us one bit. Very, very small, small amount. So what else we got here? Uh, I want to talk about Corda blockchain. This came out a little while ago because we were talking about the China FUD and this was released back in March 31st of this year. It says China's blockchain project BSN to integrate R3 Corda. So the blockchain service network, the Chinese banks will soon be implementing the Corda enterprise infrastructure. If you guys don't know, go back and watch my deep dives on R3 and Corda funded by nine banks, banks like Credit Suisse, ING, uh, Merrill Lynch, all the big boys have basically funded this project and this will be essentially what big business and big banks will be utilizing to process their payments. You know, they have to take advantage of the public blockchain and they also need those private contracts and that's exactly what the Corda blockchain provides. Excuse me while I take a sip of my Angel's Envy. If you guys haven't had this yet, Highly, highly recommend trying it. If you like bourbon, go to Costco, get a big old bottle for like 50, 60 bucks. Now, quarter blockchain. You guys should definitely be investing in those assets. Obviously not financial advice, do your own research, but the quarter blockchain is basically utilizing the assets that I feel will be around for many, many more cycles. We're talking Algo, XLM, XRP, XDC as settlement tokens. You guys do not want to be sleeping on these projects because I guarantee you 95 plus percent of these projects will go by the wayside. I was even taking a look back at some of the coins that were in the top 10 last cycle. A lot of them aren't around anymore. Or if they are, they're ranked like number 2000. So you guys got to be aware, got to be aware of what you're invested in. Take advantage of what this next cycle will provide you. And as our opinion, this was like one of the last shakeouts that we're going to see before altcoins go absolutely parabolic. And I want to point out here the uh, China timeline that we talked about with all the FUD that takes place. Actually, I already clicked this link here. So the, the Chinese timeline, when they ban all this stuff, you can see that they literally just use China as a crutch to go ahead and manipulate the market, whichever way they so choose. So do not get deterred. Do not get scared when you see China banning something. They're literally going to be using uh, Chinese banks will be using the R3 quarter blockchain. Those are the assets that you guys need to be in. So do not get deterred. Make sure that you have your positions aligned in altcoins. Like I said, do your own research, not financial advice, but that's exactly where we're at. If you want to find out, we actually just updated our portfolio positions uh, in the newsletter a couple days ago or maybe a week ago or so now. Uh, so you guys can find out all the assets we're in. Definitely think it's worth the value, worth the money uh, for the value that you do get in exchange for it. And as we think, I actually went ahead here and mapped out 
when the halvings were. This goes back all the way. This is the Brave New Coin Liquid Index. I may have shown this before in a previous video, but this has the most data that I could find on Bitcoin. And so what I went ahead and did here was map everything out where the halvings were. As we can see, about six months afterwards, you start to see a nice run up in the cryptocurrency space. This happens time and time again. And what I want to note from this cycle top to this cycle top right here back in 2017 was approximately 1,463 days. When Bitcoin futures went live, that signified the top of Bitcoin. Not the top of all the assets, but the top of Bitcoin. Uh, it was right around uh, you know second or third week of December. So what happened? Bitcoin futures goes live. That's the top. The contract lasts for exactly one year. Sure enough, that is the cycle low right here. Reaccumulation begins. Bitcoin having hits. And now here we are, 2021. So assuming that we're going to get somewhere close in the same ballpark as the last cycle, given where the halvings will be taking place, for us, that puts us end of bull run for Bitcoin, December 12th-ish. And we also know that the Bitcoin ETF did go live not too long ago. So Bitcoin ETF went live back here when the Bitcoin futures went live. That signified the top. I can't say for sure that the Bitcoin top is in. It probably has one more fake out move to the upside to get the retail traders on board. I did see people like Kathy Wood putting out $500,000 Bitcoin in five years. Uh, most people will not realize that there will be a whole nother bear market that takes place if and when Bitcoin does hit 500K. It'll definitely be several years out in our opinion. So altcoins are where you need to be. And if you're building a long term portfolio, you got to make sure that you're in the assets that are going to be around and stand the test of time. We know which ones those are. Hopefully you guys do, too. If you don't know, you guys can unlock all those posts on the paid version. So this is where we're at. This is what we're thinking. Hopefully you guys found this informative. If you guys did, please hit the like, share, subscribe. You know the drill and we will catch you all in the next video.